that's their plan. Uh, I think this is again going to be some trilane shenanigans. Or oh, anti mage even. Ooh. To save on OD this game. Uh, also, it gives, I you, have to gives you int. Y Yapsor, who's TPing top level 3 at 10 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen this in my entire life. His ace is getting gone on here by Nisha, but he is completely surrounded. They have the sentry thanks to Puppy. So first blood, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. in the okay. game. All right. Wow. And why? So when Rubik does steal it, it's terrible. <laughs> Countered. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> As Ice 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 getting chased in the bot lane, the Burrow Strike is there. Duraccio doesn't have stun from their eight seconds, but the epicenter is being procced, and the hood is going to keep him not too safe. Does mitigate a lot of that damage, but it's just a uh, little too much to ask for. From, uh, which I think should have been a pretty tough lane. Ooh, tower not quite dead yet. Yapser gets off the nightmare. The jump in from Ice Ice Ice. Just trying to get this kill on Darachi. He pops that armlet though, and there's a huge Ravage. Already two dead though for Secret. So Ice Ice Ice, despite getting a nice Ravage, will have to try to back away. Team Tickles taking this fight in spades. Looks like the Burrow Strike oh, can actually proc that Kraken shell. He's so tanky, but they'll finally, finally get the kill. So three for nothing. I suppose it's because you're against Rubik, and if you went for the Meteor Hammer build anyway, it wouldn't be that good this game. Oh boy, he might be dead again. Burrow Strike into the Ray Fire Blast. The Absor gets off the Nightmare and the Fiend Script to try to buy some time for Sumail, who has that little baby Astro Imprisonment. He'll be able to get out just in time. Tofu actually stole the Ravage, expends it there, now has Fiend's Grip. Great steals as he's going to use it onto Puppy to ensure the double kill for Duraccio. So at the very least, they don't have, or they save Sumail. I usually four staff as the uh, the itemization. It's more like Silver Edge, or maybe not Silver Edge, Shadow Blade, like Dragon Lance, right, right clicking stuff. Maybe even Witch Blade. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Yeah, I mean, he is going Witch Blade now, but you're right. It's a little unconventional to go the four staff first as Duraccio. Has yet to even use his ult yet this entire game. Nobody's been able to bring him down until now. But before then, he takes out Puppy pretty easily. There's Ice 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 with a nice Ravage onto three. Make it four heroes. Looks like the sacrifice is going to be the Sand King at the very least. The Sandy's Eclipse to follow from Sumail. But it's not enough damage done as Duracho continue to get those attacks up onto Nisha. But finally, getting brought relatively low. They still have Mana Void to work with. And he jumps in. He gets it off successfully. Doesn't do that much damage, but they find the kill nonetheless. Two for two. Sumail dies again on the backside. Turns into now a three versus three to kill him. Uh, and so if they want to be aggressive here, if they want to dive towers like they've been doing and continue pressuring the map, Duraccio might actually die and then get ravaged. It's it's a likely scenario. So you have three lives to protect from that. Oh my goodness. Ice Ice Tice taking a whip in here, but he's going to be fine. In fact, a lot of damage being applied to Duraccio instead. You can hear the epicenter going off into the burrow strike, being secured for the supports of Secret. Puppy's dead. Yapsor looks to be next. Gets off the brain sap, but the Ray Fire Blast can ensure that he drops to the deck. Double kill for Boom. Reincarnation was used. They're still going against his Aegis for two minutes. Now Nisha blinks in. Tofu getting burned and mana voided down. Nicely done from Nisha. And Boom is actually going to pop his BKB, but gets Fiend's Grip in the middle of a remnant here. Ravage hits literally zero people, but it doesn't matter. Team Shu could still get their third kill of this fight. And now we're going to turn around onto Duraccio. This is Aegis, and he does not have Reincarn for 30 seconds. Buyback onto the Rubik now. Team Tickle is falling apart at the seams here. Five seconds BKB on pop Epi. from Duraccio, though. He really wants to fight. Ember Spirit buys back in the game as well. There's a nice Burrow Strike Epicenter combination. In addition, his Yaps are trying to run away, but they're going to turn this around onto Ace. He gets saved for now. Getting very low. We'll be able to walk away safely as the Sandy's Eclipse. Not able to finish off anybody in tow here as Nisha still focusing on Boom. This will be a dieback if he's not careful, but Nisha, he's getting brought to his knees as well. Blinks out to safety. They do find Ember Spirit, so Boom, dieback. And Team Secret only lose one hero, but not the longest of cooldowns or the most important spell in general. As Ice 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 is gonna get gone on now from Duraccio. Team Tickle is going to have to make something happen here because the longer this game goes, the more it's going to favor Team Secret in theory. As Ice Ice Slice is, I mean, I guess he's taking damage. He he's is. He's just going to walk it off, though, with the Anchor Smash. He's still taking damage there. Yep, there's Enfeeble from Yapsor. Ice Ice Slice. Oh, nice stun from Ace. Maybe they can get Yapsor instead. That's a little bit easier of a kill. A nice hand of God to keep him alive a little bit longer. Yapsor with a brain set, but it's not going to be enough. Boom, pops the BKB. Ice Ice Slice continuing to get chased in his base. 
all of this expended for a Bane kill. Uh, yes, so. some players like Puppy have actually aged unbelievably. I mean, if you go back to TI1 and watch them play, maybe everybody sucked back then. I think that's probably fair to say, but that's after playing for like a month. As Puppy, he's gonna get saved by Isis Heist, who gets a triple Ravage. Yapsor gets the sleep off onto Duraccio. Puppy gets off the mech as well, but looks like he's gonna live through this. Duraccio now, Sanity's Eclipse from afar. Tofu ends up stealing Anchor Smash, so no Ravage this time. And it looks like Team Tickles are on the retreat. Oh, Ace, 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 I say that. Or Ace, 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 trying to get off his epicenter. Rubik's is going to die firsthand, but that's the jump in now from Ace. Not able to secure a kill other than on Puppy. And now everybody's in the same area. My God, so much damage coming out from everybody on Team Secret as they are winning this fight handily, but Duraccio's still alive, and he's the big boy on campus. Three dead for Secret, but still two cores alive. He's left alone. Life lived with... So much Wait, potential. No. I see. Who's who's taking that? Shard was picked up. Puppy. Puppy's gonna take it? Well, because he's the captain. Right? So he can get ancients. Yeah, I mean that is a really good shard to be fair. It's Duraccio in the enemy triangle, going up against two centaurs and the rest of secret. Nisha. Looks like they're gonna find the first kill at the very least. But remember, he does have shard. Ice ice size. No ravage for 15 seconds. Rachio pops the BKB. Nisha jumps to the back line. Ayo's gonna use his ult to get out of dodge onto the other side of the fight. Very nicely done. And Puppy absolutely destroyed by that Wraith King. Now on the other side, Nisha looking for the kill on Ace, but does not have the vision required. He's gonna go on top of the Ayo, who brings back the Rubik now. And it's gonna be at least the easy kill onto Rubik as Celery on the run. No Mana Boy to work with, but that's going to still be a double kill for Nisha, and they only lose Puppy. Still have Aegis online. Double TP onto the outpost. Duraccio left without his IO. This is looking like a potential kill now. Oh, he does have Shadow Blade. Okay, did not see that. Okay, so put the Aegis backpack. in your backpack, if only that was possible. Yeah, huh? yeah. That would be an interesting change for sure. He's going to jump in, though, to the top line. Still no IO. Is respawning now. Yapsar with no Fiend's Grip to work with. They're going to force out a bunch of TPs. So Seeker, we'll see if they want to continue to fight. A huge Boros Strike to follow, though. Nice initiation as Boom comes up with a BKB, able to delete the Bane to start off this fight. Telekinesis onto Nisha. He's going to continue on because he still has the Aegis, and Ice 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 gets on a beautiful Ravage onto basically everybody with the Sandy's Clips to follow. Looks like that's going to be the death of Sand King. Wraith King, that is just the reincarnation. Pops the Shadow Blade, but they have Vision this time. The Gush is going to slow him down to a crawl. He's going to pop the BKB. Mana Void completely nullified thanks to the BKB, but still, it's not going to matter. Nisha has the damage. A three for two. Using the Aegis, Nisha wants to continue on his boom. He's going to show himself. Very little mana to speak of. See if they want to continue here. Gush is there. Mantha's going to take off. Oh, uh, one guy. I mean, he's at a point now. He only has one stat point he can take. So he just has to ignore is he Astral the rest that, of the way. That's the question. Will he hold it? Will he hold the points? That's the that's the real next level. All right, point. what do you think? If we're going to get to the point, I think he does not skill it. He's going to make a point here. Burrow Strike on Anisha, followed up by Boom, but he's taking basically no damage. Puppet, in the meantime, will get absolutely evaporated here. 50 seconds on the deck, but Mana Boy from Nisha takes out Tofu in turn. And that's a very low cooldown because of that 25 talent. Reincarnation pop. Sumail with the Santa's Eclipse with the right clicks on the Arcane Orb. This is going to be another easy kill on Duraccio. And a Fiend's Grip from the high ground. Yapsor finding Boom. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to get the kill, but with the Brain Sap, it is indeed. Team Secret winning every fight, it seems. Basically, no contest. And GG's called. Wow. Team Secret take this series 2-0. to zero. That... Oh, man, that's a that's just a crazy ending. I feel like that